1972, a German immigrant opened a restaurant in Queens to share traditional recipes with his new neighborhood. And now, nearly 50 years later, his sons are preserving his legacy. CBS 2's Elle McLogan has more in this latest episode of The Dig. On busy Myrtle Avenue in Glendale, a doorway serves as a portal to old world Germany. I'm Hans Lehner, one of the owners of Zum Stammtisch. My name is Werner Lehner, I'm also one of the owners. And tell me, what is Zum Stammtisch? The word Zum Stammtisch itself it means your own special table. It was opened in November 1972. It was our father, John Lehner. Our mom was also working, you know, waitressing and hostessing. Our father passed back in 1993. So my brother and I have been doing it, of course, since that time. What first brought your dad to open this place? What was his background? He came over here from Germany back in, I believe, the late 50s. He always had a, a love for German food and German tradition and cooking and such. Tell me how you would describe this place to someone who's never been. Traditional, old school Bavarian. And we've kept the decor basically identical. It's nice to hear someone come in here and they just they go, oh wow, I feel like I'm in Germany. It's like a, it's like a time machine. Tell me a little bit about the menu and, and some of the favorites. I would say at least half the people that come in would order the goulash soup, which is a really hearty beef stew. I have the Jäger schnitzel with a dark mushroom sauce, sauerbraten, which is a, uh, a marinated beef. We marinated for a full week in uh -huh. a vinegar wine marinade. And I hear that people don't often leave hungry. No, <laughs> usually not, unless unless they don't order food. <laughs> Pilsners, we have lagers, we have Kölsch beers, we have Weiss beers. I mean, the Weiss beer alone, you have so many, you have clear Weiss beer, dark Weiss beer, Hefe Weiss beer. The pork store next door has over 60 varieties of German beer, just, you know, that you can I'm take a six wrong. pack, load up all different kinds of beers, whatever you choose. We have domestic beer, but we really focus heavy on the German beers. Fantastic. I think there's still a bottle of Bud in the back of the fridge somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're broke yet. So we have regulars that have been coming here for since we opened, 50 mm -hmm. years almost. Glendale as a neighborhood. I mean, the people here have always been great to us. Do you still have any family in, in Germany or connected to, to Germany? And both are wives of one yeah. Germany. Jackie, your husband is, is Hans, the co-owner. You yeah. have been working here for 25 to 26 years. I'm born on 26. 26 years. It's like home. Home away from home. Has your family gotten a chance at all, any of your family members, to come from Germany to see the place? Oh, yes. Do they have Every single one of them. What do they think about it? They love it. Yeah. They tell us that they have a better Jägerschnitzel here than they do in Germany. Oh. <laughs> what does it mean to you to carry forth this legacy and preserve this place. It went, you know, from my father who came here with a quarter in his pocket and, and, and really worked so very hard to build this place. It's nice to be able to carry on that tradition and give the same thing that he gave to the neighborhood even now. One German word is Gemütlichkeit. And Gemütlichkeit doesn't really have a translation. It just means a, a feeling of comfort and a feeling of belonging. You know, and that's one of the things that we strive for here is, is, is that, that sense of Gemütlichkeit where the people can come in, you know, feel comfortable, enjoy some really good hearty food and drink. I think here it really, it hits home.